Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Taggle. There are a number of word cloud creators out there. Uh, I've got a number mentioned on my blog so you can check out others. So Taggle allows you to create a word cloud. A word cloud are uh, these uh, uh, images created with lots of different words. Typically the the more frequently the word appears the, um, in a piece of text, the larger it will appear in your image. So I've logged on and you can log on with various social media accounts or using your email. We're gonna click create now. And you've got a folder structure. You can see I've got two already created. I'm gonna click on the red plus to create. And then to add words, you just click import words and you can import from the web and you could put in a URL or you can just copy and paste some text. So I'm gonna copy and paste some text. And you can see how often the words appear by the size that are given to them. But you can increase the size, you can tweak it. So you get the emphasis that you want. And you can deter determine whether you want the words to repeat or not. Having added your words, you click on your shapes and there's various shapes you can choose or you can add your own shape. So for this example, we'll just go with people. Uh, I'll have a dancer, okay. And then you can alter your font style. I think they always work better if the font's quite clean. So something like this. I'd probably steer away from Doc 51 or Dirty Fox regular because they just they look a bit too busy. So a nice clean font. Let's go with BP regular. Your layout. You can choose the positioning of your font. So we'll go with vertical. Well, shall we? Let's go mix of all colors. You've got this choice of colors or you can add a specific color code so if you've got a particular color brand that you use you can add that as well or you can just pick from a range of colors by just clicking now background color I tend to have no color in the background um, but you can alter those and then finally you've got download and share so having added all of your your options then click visualize And it, depending on the speed of your internet connection in your machine, it takes a, a, a couple of minutes to generate your word cloud. A creaky desk here, sorry about the noise in the background. And there we have it. And then you've got the option. At the moment, it's an, uh, animation. So you can see as I roll over, it brings up the word. And then I can click download and share. So I can share it on Google Plus or Facebook or Twitter or access it via a link or I can download it as a PNG. Now some of these require a, a payment uh, to have a paid account. Um, so these for example if I click on that it will ask you to purchase a plan and they vary in price you can see. Um, I tend just to go with the standard quality which will allow you to download that or you could make it public and you could open it via a link so you can see there it is so you could link that so that is how you use Tegel uh, as I say there are many other word cloud creators a great way of tying it in with maybe another product would be maybe using your survey results from a Google form and then importing those in uh, and, and then creating a visual to show the students maybe how they'd responded to a particular survey. But I uh, hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching and join me again.